Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 50 in chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. So there we can see we have the ideal diatomic gas. So the keyword diatomic. And the mole number is one more. We write it there. And we know the temperature changes from 420K to 720K. The pressure changes from 1 atm to 1.6 atm and it increased the linearly. So linearly tell us the slope we can find is 500k per atm. Agree? Yes. Now, first part, we need to determine the change in internal energy. So very straightforward, we just write as a function for change in internal energy, delta E, ENT, INT equal to n c v delta t delta t is so easy right just uh, 300 kelvins from 420 to 720 now n more number is given at zero the next part it looks like we need to find molecule specific heat at a constant volume volumes for this gas the atomic gas c v if you check your test book, you will find the CV equal to 5R over 2 for diatomic gas. R is a constant. Therefore, we can input the CV inside as 5R over 2. And then in this function, you can see N is given, R is a constant, delta is given, so you get answer there. The next one, we need to find the work done by the gas. So. The work done by the gas, so it usually we consider is P times the V, right? By there, obviously, this P changes with V, so we do the integral from the P integral with the V, uh, dV, P, dV, and from the V1 to V2, agree? Now we need to find the relationship between P and V, and then replace the V or P. This is how we do this integral. Then we can write down the ideal gas law, PV equal to nRT, PV equal to nRT. In this function, you can see PV uh, changes with each other. N is a constant, R is a constant. But temperature also changes with pressure, right? Because it tells you at zero, the lead is linearly increased. The slope is 500 Kelvin per atm. Therefore, we can write the function between T and P. Agree? This is a slope, 500. And the initial point is 1 atm, so use P minus 1. And at this point, what is temperature? 420 Kelvin, right? So in this way, we can write the equation for the temperature and the pressure as 500 P minus 80. Agree? Yes. Now we can see we can write the V as nRT divided by P. So nRT divided by P and replace the T by using this function 500 P minus 80. Right? And P over P cancelled. So it can be simplified as this one 80, 80 over P. Right? This is a constant. Now we can say we come back to this integral. It is a dV to the differential with V, right? So dV, dV, and then look at this side. This, uh, did, did it change this with, did there, is there any variables? No, nR500 is constant, so we don't care. Then we look at the next term, 80 over P to the D, right, dP. So we can find nR is a constant times 80 and then one negative 1 over p is a 1 over p square dp, right? This one do the integral at both sides or do the differential at both sides. You get dv equal to a function dp. Now input this dv inside and put this dv back. See, you get the function look like this one and p and p can cancel the one. And then you'll get the function can be simplified as this one. What do we do next? We 
we do the integral and we get a function look at this one inside this function you can say p1 p2 is given n is given r is a constant so we can get the final answer there negative 310 joule the next one ask you to find the heat added to the gas so there we can consider the internal energy changes equal to q minus w minus work and the internal energy changes is given at there the work done is get from the previous equation b right so in this case you can get the function for q as internal energy changes plus the work input these two number inside it answers there thank you